What on earth? We got kaleidoscope and music going on. What's happening? I think I'm seeing things. It's all the souls. No. The life energy that you so roughly scattered is disrupting the etheric imbalance I've spent the last five days creating. And you can't stop it. At least we will all die in a suitably interesting manner. Bradley? No one dies. It's Bradley. It's a miracle. His body still lies on the floor, but somehow, impossibly, his spirit is afire. I will find a way if I have to break time itself. Alvin, you just made Bradley overpowered. I want my sister back. The whole house trembles with every blow of his voice, and the strange lights continue to build. He wasn't held within the force field. He was never really part of the time loop. But now his self, free from his body, is at the center of the vortex and it's all coming undone. What does this mean? <laughs> what is happening? This is crazy! One by one, unreal figures and images blur into my vision. Not just the few that Bradley reported missing from our world, but dozens. Copies? Captives from other worlds? More and more, filling the room with a thick fog of ghosts. He's tearing down all the walls, but what will that do? Time is unraveling and the whole world is falling apart. There's a hole in the world in the shape of a soul. We have to save Bianca. It's the only way to stop this. But how? I don't know. She needs a soul. <laughs> Raphael, don't do this again, please. Then I will offer my own. No. Susan, where are you? Can you hear me? Hundreds of voices reply with incomprehensible echoes, crying out for help, for comfort, for lost loved ones, all pulling in different directions. Fractured time overlapping. Chaos. But what if they all wanted the same thing? What if all of us, people, souls, echoes, whatever we are, work together? Nobody has to sacrifice themselves. Everyone does. It's too much for any one person to fix. If you give your life to save hers, you'd be dead, and that's no good. But if everyone gives a little, we can all save each other. What's one lost soul compared to the army we can muster? This is just insanity. Bradley, tell everyone, you and Susan and all the others, save Bianca. This is like the end of Undertale. <laughs> As the ripples of my command pulse through the broken timelines, I grab for the hands of the people near me and bring them together. Linz, Raphael, Nathaniel, even Alvin. All of us together. You want us all to die. I want us all to live. Don't even think about dying. It's magic. It's faith. It's impossible. It has to work. I've lived too much in these past five days to doubt now. Close your eyes and give yourself away. <laughs> this is so insane. Okay, so we didn't have to wait for this, everything to build up. And now we're in the woods. What? Is this heaven? What happened? I'm outside in the woods. It must be evening. It's not raining. I'm lying on rocks and leaves and mud, trying not to stare at the sun. My head hurts. And that's all I know. Hello? Is anyone there? Janet? You're alive! Holy crap. Thank goodness for that, at least. I clamber to my feet and fling my arms around him, burying my face in his chest. He is warm and solid to the touch. There is no sign of a wound. What happened? I don't know. I was kind of hoping you did. You were shot! I remember that part. After that, everything got weird. Where are we? How did we get here? I don't know. Is this Memphis? One group of trees looks pretty much the same as another to me, but I can't see any sign of Nathaniel's mansion. There's a clearing nearby with a little wooden bench. I'm sure I don't remember seeing that before. 
Which way is the road? Are we lost? Okay, so we're... We might be, anyways, in the same spot where Nathaniel's mansion was in the other universe. I step up on a rock to peer through the trees, and in the distance I see... Look, there's your car. Oh, we got cell reception. Just as I say that, I hear my cell phone ringing. We must be home. I pick up the phone and look at the caller ID. Mrs. Dalton? I don't know a Mrs. Dalton, do I? Hello? Why is your mother calling me? We went on one date. Hi, Janet. May I speak to my son, please? Bradley's mother? How did she get my number? Why is she calling me now? I shake my head and hand over the phone. It's for you. I turn away to give him what privacy I can while I try to make sense of everything. What happened to Bianca and the others? What did we do? Did it work? Bradley's alive, and we're home. I think. Or else this is all just a pleasant fantasy I'm having in the moment right before dying. But if that's it, then it's too late to worry about it now. Behind me, I hear Bradley switch off the phone and clear his throat. <clears> throat. That was my mother. She wanted to remind me that you and I are supposed to bring a gift for Susan's wedding on Sunday. What? <laughs> so... Does that mean that it did work? And so everybody went back, all the, all the lost souls went back to the time and place that they were before they went into the house? And because Susan disappeared five years ago, Susan's now been here for five years and is getting married to somebody? But how come you and I are dating then? We wouldn't have dated, would we? If you hadn't been on this quest? And we must have been dating for a while because your mom has my number? What? How is that possible? Slowly I start to put it together. There really was a time loop. And it started long before we went missing, or Susan did. But you broke through time to reach the previous loops. Which means all the time started to exist at once, including the very first time that Lynn set up his experiment to save Bianca. And when everyone came together to save Bianca, we saved her from the very beginning. It filled the hole. So the time loop never happened. Okay, that's kind of what I thought was happening, but... Crazy. Which means we never disappeared through a wormhole. And neither did your sister. She lived a normal life, grew up, and now she's getting married. Whoa. Cool. But what happened to Bianca and everybody? I don't know. If we saved her, then Bianca should be alright, but... I fetched for the present he gave me, the coin on a chain. It's gone, of course. We were never there, so he never made it. Nathaniel, Albin, Linz, Raphael... We never met them. They're all gone. They have to live their own lives in their own world. I guess they're all, like, 25 years older now, too? Probably? Or else they already have. They were 25 years in the past compared to us. If the time loop never happened, wouldn't they have lived those years? They could have children our age by now. Oh, that's true. That's a little weird. Ugh, it's awkward when you've dated those guys and you're like, they could now have kids that are my age. Will they even remember us? He shakes his head slightly. It's a little hard for me to imagine, too. We were with them just minutes ago, and now everything's different. It never happened. The world is rewritten. Feeling dizzy, understandably, I walk over to sit on the nearby bench. It shouldn't make a difference for me, right? My history would be the same. All I've lost is a few days sitting in a house with strange people. Thank you, Bradley, for asking the important question here. Wait. If Susan never vanished, then I was never searching for her, right? So how did I get here with you? And how did his mother know he'd be with me? Why would we be alone in a clearing in the woods with a bench built for two? Oh. Um, 
it looks like we're dating. If that's okay with you. Okay. He sits down beside me. I get to be a hero. I get my sister back. And I get a smart, cute girlfriend too. That sounds like a happy ending to me. Wow. Yeah? I, I guess it is. <laughs> that was insanity! All right. What? You guys see that blimp ship, right? What? Wait. What does that mean? Triple dot? No. No, 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 don't. <laughs> did they? Lens? Did you find a way? Hey, you down there. Knock it off. What? Look up so we can see you. Oh my god, they did! <laughs> ah! And she's alive! And Nathaniel is still just wearing... Nathaniel, put some clothes on! You can't be in a bathrobe for the rest of your life. This is ridiculous. I can't believe they flew in on a freaking blimp ship across universes. This is insanity. Do you know how long it took me to find the right universe? Linz? Bianca? It's all right. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Welcome to our universe, guys. <laughs> I'm shocked they came. I guess they were... I guess... Do they have 25 years to work that out, or...? Because they all look still, like, pretty good. If they've aged 25 years and they still look like that, like... Good going, guys. Tell me your secrets. Tell me your medical secrets, please. Of course, they did say that they had, like, solved aging, so they would look the same, wouldn't they? Oh, my mind is blown. Everything ties together at the end. That was fantastic. <laughs> Crazy insanity, but it was fantastic. Oh my goodness. I loved that. That was that was just great. It was great. Oh. Wow. What a journey. I'm so glad I played this game. Thank you guys very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that true ending. So glad I got to play that. But, unfortunately, that means we're all done now. Oh. Right, well, that's another game on the completed list. Thank you guys for joining me for this. I guess now it's time to go back to Seduce Me too and finish up all the stuff we have to do over there. We've got uh, passwords, we got bloopers, we got trainer endings, and not to mention all the bonus episodes that's allowed to be done, so there's still a fair bit over there to do. So I hope I'll see you over there for some of that at least, guys. Thanks again for watching, and until next time. Oh, but you know what? Before I sign off, I should probably uh, rate my guy, shouldn't I? I almost forgot. I was so, like, jazzed over that ending. I'm like, right, who is my favorite? Uh, Linz, obviously. No one's going to be surprised by that. Uh, yeah, Linz all the way. Um, probably Raphael next. Super sweet boy. Um... I like Nathaniel as a character, even though I wasn't that, like, I didn't enjoy his route too much, but I liked, I liked him as a character. Like, he was very well writ written, I felt. Like, everything that he was dealing with felt believable, and how he dealt with Janet felt, felt right. Um, and then I guess Bradley, and I wanted to like Alvin, I really did, like, I do like Alvin, but... I think he was too Sundari and too pushing away for my taste. I wish he had softened a little bit more, but 
Yeah, I'd probably put Albin at the bottom. And then it's kind of back on back and forth on me for Bradley and Nathaniel. I like, Brad, I like Nathaniel as a character more, but I like Bradley's root better. Especially the true ending. But anyway, okay. Now that I got that out of the way, let me know what your list is below if you'd like to share that with me. I'd like to hear your thoughts, as always. And yeah, okay, now I can sign off. Until next time, guys, I will see you later.